Hey there, this is Jojo, and I'm just making a quick video as a response to a question on how to string the DH experimental frequencies together so that you can play them, run them all at once without having to select each different one every time. Um, so what I do is I start at the preset tab in the Spooky2 software. So you go to the presets. Hit the home button if you're not already there and it'll give you the main list at the top level and um, open your dh experimental frequencies and i'm going to choose remote so i'll choose remote and i'm going to add the first three so i'm just just as a demonstration so you can choose whichever you want out of the list um, so I select the one I want number one spiritual well-being and then I'll go below here where there's a big arrow presets to chain it says here so I will click on the arrow and it will add it to this bottom list or the bottom window where I'll start to build my list so I'll go for number two the second one I want to add go to the arrow click on it and it should add it to the list so we're starting to build up the um, programs that we want to chain together into the one program so we can just run them and leave it to sort itself out without having to keep going back and selecting a new program. So I'm going to add number three. And of course you can add as many as you want. Um, but I'm just going to stick with this for this demonstration. Then we go to this other window, here, um, this little selection here to save. We want to save save the chain and it's all in this little section so we're going to click that save button or icon it's going to open a window it should automatically be in your user folder in the presets so if it's not just navigate to that but it should automatically take you to the user folder you may have other folders within that folder that you've created it's up to you you can create a new folder dh strings whatever you want to call it um but i will then name the program of this string so um in this case i'm going to call it dh uh, dh chain uh what will it be one two three and it is remote so so I will put an R in the brackets. So we've got, this is how I name it. It's completely up to you. I do like to add my initials on the end, just so I know that it's something I've created and not someone else. And I think I've automatically saved it. <laughs> but you get the idea, you hit save. And then when you wish to run that program, You'll go to the user here, this little user icon. This is where your save programs are, and you'll search for it. Um, I hope to find it in here. Where did I put it? Okay, here it is. I usually put my last initial on there, but that was saved a bit sooner than I thought. So anyway, you'll find your preset there. DH chain one to three, that's the one I just made. So you select it. So now selected, you've got, if you look down here in the presets chains, that tells you what um, programs are in this chain. So they're the ones, just to make sure you got it right. Then we go up to the control tab, which is here. And here we go to overwrite the generator. And I'm going to come over here and I will select this generator, whichever one you want, that's the one. You just select it, the usual process. Um, and you'll notice it says spiritual well-being. And that's the first one in the chain. It doesn't list any of the others. So if you want to um, give it a test run, I do like to go to overwrite generator go down to this VG generator, which is the virtual generator. So this is a way of testing. Then I'll go 
over here now because I want to run through really quickly rather than wait for every single you know, minute to run by I'm going to change the age factor I'm going to change it to 500 now you put the number in there and then hit tab over here um, so then it'll take the selection out but make it um, take place so it will work <laughs> okay um, so now hit start now this should run through this program super fast as you can see and we're watching over here now 12 minutes on that one so after the spiritual well-being it should then click into the next program once it goes through them all to the end it goes on to the next one Not sure why this um, current chain duration goes for so long, but just adds up. It's just a way of testing. It seems to work. And so at the end of this one, we should jump into the next one on our chain, number three. And almost at the end. There we go. Oh, there we go. On number three and it's just whizzing through there so that's a way of testing it before you run it just to make sure it's going to do what you want and you can always just run it and keep coming back and checking it but this way it should just be you know set and forget especially with the remote um, and that's it so then when you just remember when you do want to run it um, properly put this um, back to number one hit tab and overwrite generator select the generator you want to use and then hit start and that's it hope that was helpful let me know in the comments if there's any other questions or clarification you want and um yeah thank you